2020 has been a hell of a year, that's for sure. Ready? So here's the plan. I have this board up there that shows 2021. Um, yeah, been, a, been an interesting year to say the least, but we're gonna go out with a bang. And what I mean by that is every single year, no, that's not true. Um, a couple years, <laughs> a couple years ago, I started doing push-ups to ring in the new year. I think I've only done it two or three times. Didn't do it last year. This year, I wanted to bring in the Gymshark family and some other friends. I am looking to match whatever Gymshark friends come on and when, whatever we knock out push-ups, I'll do, I'll do as many push-ups as my fellow YouTubers, Gymshark athletes, Instagram people. Are you ready? That goes in the files. Are you ready? Let's get it all! It is nice and early in the morning. What better way to start off push-ups than jumping on <laughs> with this legend. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Steve. What a fantastic time to be alive. Matt, where are you coming from? I'm <laughs> euphemistically, in real life, I'm coming from England. I'm coming from extremely cold and depressing England. But did you have a good Christmas? Uh, yeah, it was sick. It was awesome. Yeah, it was very good. We had all the family down. Like, so we basically, some of my family came over uh, pre-Christmas and then we got locked down so they've just been stuck in our house quarantining together for the last like two weeks. So <laughs> been like inadvertently it's been quite good, you know? But you've got the home gym, you've got, I mean like, you got, he's got a sick setup. Don't let him fool, don't feel too bad for Matt because he, he's <laughs> doing, he's doing all right. I'm trying to contain it but I'm feeling very smug like I'm trying to like pretend, I'm not like portraying it outwardly but in my head I'm extremely smug that like Gyms are closed and I've just got a six out. So I, yeah. <laughs> I saw time. yesterday you uh, max bench press or you're hitting, you're over now 400 uh, on the bench yeah. press. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you, you're weird pound plates, right? So I've done like, yeah. I've done four plates and a little one, which is like, I guess over there would be like 410. Here it's like, like four, bang, pretty much bang on four. I think exactly 400, I think. Nice. There, that's, that's impressive. And then the squat. So you're kind of in a powerlifting phase right now. Yeah, so I was a powerlifter a couple of years ago and then I just like, I just kind of, I don't know, I just, it got too much. Like I was, I was squatting and deadlifting heavy like three or four times a week and it's like, it's not very fun and it's not very sustainable. It's hard to do other things around that, you know? So I kind of got over it and now like, I'm not taking it as seriously, but I'm definitely training with more of a strength focus. I just find it way more fun and like- I like that. I like that. I, li I like when you know people follow following programs. I feel like we live in a day and age where like everyone wants something sexy for Instagram, and it's just like, well, sometimes just doing the basic lifts, following a strength progression, is the best thing to do, but it's not always the sexiest thing to do. I mean, I wear women's leggings, so actually, I combine. The black <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see that. I see you wearing the black camo ones, and I was just like, I'm really comfortable. Hey. I'm so good about myself. I just love it. Hey. So good about them. Yeah, hey, and you know what? I, I also, the legs, they really showcase your, and the glutes, man. It's just looking good. Yeah. <laughs> what was the best present Luca got for Christmas? Uh, Luca's a bit of a weirdo. He's like, so he goes through phases right he's now. A bit of a weirdo. He is Only probably. Matt can call his son a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> he's like an absolute dork. So he's well into like dinosaurs now. But like, oh weird, yeah. But like really weird niche dinosaurs. Like he likes, his favorite dinosaurs are like a Compsognathus, which is this weird little tiny, like, just minuscule dinosaur. He likes um, a Sarcosuchus, it's like a weird crocodile type dinosaur. So basically, we, we brought him in an array of really weird niche dinosaur toys that probably no other child owns in the UK, but yeah, well. Just, just well, toys, like dinosaurs you've never heard of. I thought you were gonna say, like, a Stegosaurus. Like, everyone goes to the Raptor. The, the brontosaurus but no he's going like things i've never even heard of and like he won't hesitate to correct you if you if you get one wrong or you like mispronounce it he'll be all over it all on your face yeah. hey, i'm feeling like luca could be the next david attenborough i mean there's going to need to be a replacement here at one point i think david attenborough is 119 right now but i love sir david attenborough he's the I'm man yeah, I'll start yeah. and i mean I luca's already got he's already got the, he's the showmanship you, you've taught him that already i mean it's kind of came natural yeah yeah yeah, we just we just figured it out. Game on, done. It's a good plan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on you. Um, okay. We're gonna go okay. count them out. And Interestingly enough, in England, they don't don't they, you don't call them push-ups. You call them. 
we call them by their real name, which is press ups. Um, <laughs> like pressing up. press ups. I don't know why. Like, thing is, thing is, some of the discrepancies in our language make sense, right? You can think like you guys have taken it and kind of made it more logical. I don't. What was the need for changing a press up to a push up? That I feel like it's unnecessary. You know what I mean? Great point. Yeah, it, it, it's it's just kind of like we have to be different type yeah. of a thing. Like, oh no, yeah, Mother exactly. England, we're going to be different and call them push ups. Rebellions. That's a good point. All right, okay, here we go. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna get in push-up position. So, quite nervous. You've done, you've, done these, you've done the different fitness challenges. What was your best, what is it, a two minute push-up? Yeah, minute? do you know what, actually? Yeah, actually, almost every single military test can, it, like, involves press-ups in some, in some, uh, yeah. to some extent. So we've done, done it a few times. Normally it's like how many you can do in a minute. That seems to be what right. the, the Go to like we can do that. We can just go the, this first one. We can just say, Hey, how many you can do in a minute if you want? <laughs> <laughs> I trained, I did push yesterday. I'm at a massive disadvantage. I'm, at the, I'm right. riding in my post push sauna. Whoa, whoa, we'll just knock out what we can knock out. Okay, first set. Okay, here we go. On you. Uh, I, oh, yeah, that's probably a good thing to talk about actually. Um, when, we're, when we're going strict, I'm thinking. Nine, little 90 degrees bend in the elbow just above that to full walkout. So they're going to be good push ups. Great triceps, though, man. I'm looking at your triceps right now thinking the guy is handling business. That's that's smart though. Endurance is extremely bad. So like if I if I go to exhaustion, my next set's like their numbers are gonna drop off extremely quickly. Forty five. Forty five. Yep. A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. On you. It's a good spot. Now it's 75. We'll shake it out. 25. Yeah, that's, that's a good. That's a good way of breaking it up. So, 20, 2020 been pretty. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to be. Every time I talk about 2020, it's just been, you know, kind of negative. So, what was one thing in 2020 that you're grateful for? Like, what's one one thing in 2020 that you're like, ah. You know, like if I can take a, a silver lining from this year, it's gonna be this. Um, I don't, I don't sound like a gimp because like, because like obviously people are having a rubbish time, but like I've done a few cool things. It's not, not been a, for me, it's not been a disastrous year. You know, I've done some cool stuff. Like, I guess like my book, so I've got yeah. a book coming out literally this week, comes out on Thursday. Which, like, that's been, like, a lot of time spent on that. So that's like quite a, I feel like that's quite a cool, like, kind of life goal, you know, to have a book. I'm pretty, oh, yeah. pretty proud of that. So that's kind of the cool. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. And, and that, when is that releasing? And people just pick, pick it up online. So you can pre-order it now, um, but it's you can get it from as of Thursday, so the 31st of December. Um, you can get it like obviously anywhere, but you just type it into Google. It's called the 24/7 Body. You can get it on Amazon, etc. Um, yeah, it's good. It features like. There's at least seven or eight photos of Steve naked, so that's, that alone is probably... <laughs> I, I love it, man. I just, it's been fun to see, um, obviously, YouTube. Just, you, YouTube, I feel like, exploded really like a year and a half, two years ago, where it went from like, good numbers to just like insane. Like, it was just, it's been so cool to see that. What, because I, I kind of like, cause I was, when I was hearing you talk about, I don't know if it was in person or in one of your videos, where you were doing YouTube for a long time. You were a school, like a school teacher, right? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. you were doing your videos um, and on, on top of everything else. And then all of a sudden, one day, it's kind of like, you just got better and better and better. But there was a lot of time that you put in that before there was crazy success on it. But now, obviously, you put in that work. It has to feel good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, like, I spent, I reckon, 
at least three, maybe like three and a half years, making two or three videos every single week and getting literally zero. I didn't get a penny, I got nothing from that. And that was whilst I was working full time as a teacher. I had like a son, I was training as a powerlifter. So like I was doing a lot of stuff. So like it was pretty stressful, but like, I guess a combination of like, like I thought, I felt like my content was good and it was going to get me somewhere, but also I'm quite stubborn. And like I was like, I've already invested this much time. You know, I might as well see yeah. it out, you know? So I just kind of kept going. And, so many times where I was like, you know, this is a waste of time. It's, it's embarrassing walking around like with a camera in public filming yourself while I was getting like, you know, a hundred views on a video. It's hard to justify. So it's, it is pretty satisfying now to look back and think that like, you know, I stuck it out and now it's doing right. You know, it's quite cool. It's cool. In my last video, I talked about how uh, so much of the reward isn't, you know, people think, you know, when you achieve that level of success to where now you're able to have a book um, or you know, get millions and millions of fans on YouTube and Instagram. Um, that, that's all great. You know, the nice things, building a house, a gym. Like, you, there's a monetary side of things that people tend to concentrate on. But I was kind of talking about how that hill, climbing that mountain, like to get there, like that's got to be more rewarding at the end of the day, knowing that you you've been able to push yourself in times like again that no one, everyone's probably thinking, why is Matt doing YouTube? Like, you know, back in the day when it was hard. I'm sure people question that. And for you, like to have that, if you keep pushing, if you keep going on something that you feel is right, at the end of the day, when it does pay off, yes, all of those, those other things are nice, but there's that feeling deep down inside that no one can give you no amount of money. And I feel like that's, that's kind of your story, is that in, in pushing through that, like that, that has really made you who you are. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think, I think, I like to think, like I said, I was already quite stubborn and persistent, but like, that's just reinforced that that need to, you know, to see things out and to finish. If I do something, like I want to do it properly and wholeheartedly and, and see it through to the end. And that's kind of kind of vindicated that. Yeah, now I feel like it's kind of makes sense to do that. Um, I, I'm just like, I'm I'm like obsessed with like making progress and and, I, and that I get that kind of manifested like my training and all the things I do. I like to see, like if I see there's you know if something isn't changing, then I, that's why I struggle with. I, I want to see something is progressing and growing in some way, you know? So like, like you said, I mean, the monetary thing like that is, that is definitely cool and it's fun seeing that growth, but like that translates in loads of other areas, you know, like all, all kinds of things that you, can, that you can measure in some objective way. I find that really, really satisfying. And that's one of the big things that drives me just to kind of see that progress. I think that's what I find like, massive, yeah, like legally satisfying in a creepy way. You know? Uh, all right, my set's 25 and we're, we're going to be at 100 then. We're going to be starting off with a bang. 25 reps. On you. Let's go. There we go. Start it off. How many are you, you extending the set? How many did we knock out? All right, I'm gonna put it on the board. Put it on the board right now. We're at 105, that'll be good. That way if someone isn't, uh, isn't as strong as Matt, Matt will do five push-ups for them. So, there we go. All right, brother, last question. One thing in uh, 2021 you're looking forward to, like, if you, if you could. Yeah. So we, yeah. so we got a house and like, um, we wanted to get a house that we could do ourselves and like get it exactly as we want. You know, our, our, ultimately our dream house, I guess. So that's gonna we're gonna start building all that in like all like build is an existing house. We're gonna kind of we're redoing the entire house completely, like ripping it out. So we're gonna start that in like February. So that's kind of the that's probably the main thing. I'm, I'm like so excited to Perfect. have that. Yeah, that's gonna be extremely satisfying. So yeah, I'm, that's so. awesome. Love that. Love that. We'll be we'll be excited to watch follow on YouTube. I appreciate you jumping on. 105 down and about, mm, what do we got? About 1,916 to go. That'll work. <laughs> All right, thanks brother, I appreciate you. All right, just got done with those push-ups uh, with Matt, had a little break. Hobbs is needing a little bit of morning cuddles. Usually, um, I let him jump in the bed in the morning and we cuddle for 15 minutes, but this morning, no, got up and had to get the day started. So he's expecting his morning cuddles. But right now, even though we just got done with push-ups, we're gonna jump on with Obi. The man, the myth, the legend, Obi. 
If you guys ever have watched my YouTube videos, you know, you've probably seen OB. We, we trained about what? What was that, a year, year and a half ago? I guess it was longer than that now. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was last year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Time has flown by this year in a way, in a weird way, because I feel like 20, 2020's lasted forever, but at the same time, like, because I haven't done a ton of traveling or anything, it seems like, you know, I can't remember anything that's gone by, so it seems in that aspect, it seems fast, but I just remember the last time we worked out, you know, Obi to me is, he, he should be studied in a lab because, because the man is just amazing. When you're amazing when it comes to, you know, you've done bodybuilding in the past. You have a world-class physique. When I say world-class, I, I mean it. There are very few people I know um, with just, I mean, you're size-wise, massive, uh, doesn't have a weak body part, but then also a lot of people would probably just have rested on the fact that they had this great physique and, and, and stick to what they know with bodybuilding. But what I love about Obi is the guy was like, oh, I'm gonna go do CrossFit. I'm 240 pounds, what do you weigh, 240? Two, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm 240 pounds. Um, I'm going to push myself in a new way and I'm gonna go do some functional fitness. I'm gonna go push my body. You're cycling, you're rock climbing. And I think out of all of uh, the Gymshark athletes, you're one of the people that I look to and I'm like, man, like it inspires me because I love I love doing different things. I love training different modalities, pushing myself, similar stuff, trying rock climbing, trying swimming, trying cycling. I just got a new mountain bike. And when I look at your stuff, I'm like, Obi is what I want to be when I grow up. Like when when I when 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 my pecs grow up, they want to be Obi's pecs. Like when my beard grows up, they want to be Obi's beard. So Obi is just like the man that uh, you know I, inspires me a whole lot. So it's good to have you on here. Thank you. That was um, yeah. <laughs> that was, thank you so much. That was it was nice to hear, but I'm just like, oh my god, this <laughs> brought me up so much here. <laughs> I, I, I love what you do. So right now you're in the CrossFit gym, the Royal Docs, what it's called? Royal Docs Fitness, yes. And we, we have done a workout there, kicked my butt. Um, and so tell me a little bit about your training right now. What, what are you into? I know, I know you're into cycling and even mm. some rock climbing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, unfortunately, rock climbing has been start stop because of the uh, lockdown. So it's like, oh, we get one week and then we have back again so like I make progress and then it's like I re I'm regressing again um, on the wall uh, it's been tough of all time like, like there, there can't be too many people bigger than 240 pounds rock climbing yeah it's it's um it's not for big people <laughs> it's not I mean there's certain climbs certain holds that I just won't be able to do because I'm too heavy to hang off a small a boulder, but it's that's the fun part, it's the challenging part of, of doing it. Um, because it was because of lockdown, actually, uh, because of the whole um, uh, Rona, as we call it, um, that forced me to have to diversify again what I did, and hence why I started doing uh, um, outdoor rugby style training because we couldn't go to the gym and I said to my friend who was a rugby player like right we need to do something outside in the park we started doing the rugby stuff and then um, I bought a bike purely for commuting and I was like okay I, I want to actually see what this is like and then I remember a few people who on my uh, Instagram was like oh you're going to fall into the trap and I thought nah and then all of a sudden it was like the whole outfit, changing, the, <laughs> learning to wear, use cleats, and I'm, I've actually bought a new bike because the bike I have it was it's just not built for, for what I want to do. And now I'm doing endurance cycling where I want to do 50k at least once a week, and then hopefully challenge myself to do maybe go to Brighton, which is like a 100k ride and stuff like that. So that I mean, my training has now. It's, it's less focused on just purely being in the gym, which is fun, which is actually a lot more exciting. So, like, you know, you do have a few days, I have a few days where I'm like, yes, I'm going to go to the gym. But then now I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to go climb, go do some bouldering. And then on Sundays I do um, like 50K on the bike. So I'm slowly trying to build up to 100K. We can do these push-ups any way you'd like. I know you just got done with the killer workout. You said you did Linda. Yeah, yeah, so if anyone who does CrossFit on your channel would know what you can do, it's awful. 
Uh, <laughs> a lot of pushing, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of anterior delt work and triceps. So it, it's, to be honest, it's the, it's the bench, because you've got bench, so body weight bench. So 110 kilos bench. So it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So for Ooh. me, it's 155 uh, kilo deadlift, 110 bench, and 83 kilo power cleans. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that is, and, and when you say it like that, like I was, I was thinking when I first heard it, 10 reps, that's not too bad, but then, you, but then you're doing 10 sets on top yeah. of that. And that is yeah, yeah. not lightweight. Like that is not lightweight at all. And do you do it for time? It's for time then. Yeah, it's for time. Wow. It's, it's for time. So I've done it before. This is one of those um, benchmark workouts that you do and then you try and see if, you, if you're better. So it was a lot more. It was a lot better this time, and I paced it better. But it still, it still sucks. You know, it's ten reps on all of them, nine on all of them, seven. So it's never and going to be fun. Workouts, I feel like yeah, all of those workouts just are meant to suck. So I think yeah. you, you must like pain a little bit in terms of feeling like, hey, am I going to throw up like that? I, I, I have always kind of felt with my growing up as an athlete, there was that time at the end of practice where you get on the line and you do your conditioning wind sprints and things like that. And uh, it sounds like for cro with CrossFit, you get a lot of, in, in any given workout, you have to go to that dark place where you're like, okay, I'm, I might lose my lunch here if I, if I continue to, to go at this rate. But the thing that I like that you just said, CrossFit workouts, what most people don't know, they're like, most of them are not just go balls out, you know, all out as fast as you can. There is so much that goes into pacing yourself and knowing when to breathe, knowing when to step back, not totally red line. Um, otherwise, you're going to just blow up, burn out, and, and that's gonna hurt you in the long run. Exactly, I mean, I'm like, I'm a lot of people go, I'm always like, form is everything for me. Um, even when I do workouts that, you will start getting sloppy, especially when it's heavy. So taking a step back. So a lot of times people see these, what Linda for most newbies will take longer than 30 minutes wow. and it's a long it's a long graft um, so you have to know when to step back a bit and one of my friends says this it's, it's it's a great way to look at it he says recover not rest so when you get to the deadlift again you've got nine reps it's 155 kilos take a step back and recover three four seconds five seconds don't look at it as resting Right. That three four, three, four seconds will enable you to probably do the nine reps unbroken. But again, if you're smart with certain workouts, you would know what's your weakness and you would know, right, I need to do one of these unbroken. The bench press, maybe break that down. The power cleans do one at a time rather than going into right. cycling barbell. So again, when I did it the first time, I was all over the place. And now, you know, when I did the second time, it was, I mean, it was just as painful but it was a lot smoother. And then, you know, you know, workouts like these teach you when to pace and how to judge a, a, a workout, a, a movement. So if you feel like the power clean feels a lot better than the deadlift, maybe put all your energy on that and take your time on the deadlift. Right. So rather than going, right, I'm gonna do all of it and just try and go all unbroken, it, you will struggle to do that. So like you said, I think, yes, CrossFit sometimes gets a bad rep, and for me, I take a lot of the good parts of CrossFit and what I can do, especially for my size, and apply to myself. So I wouldn't do certain workouts, which I feel are ridiculous. Just right. like every other discipline, training discipline, there's certain workouts that you feel like are unnecessary. CrossFit has that, and I'm not saying it's perfect, but if you're smart with how you do your training, how you program your training, make sure you get a good coach, just like in bodybuilding, you get PTs. You shouldn't be having countless injuries. You know? And I think that's the number one thing. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, the CrossFit, they break everything. Or if you're silly and you don't, if you don't make sure that you get a good, decent, go to a good box and get a good coach, just like bodybuilding, just like powerlifting, you would have injuries if you're reckless. True. There's it, injuries everywhere. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent And I think you're right. It's all it's all in the programming, no matter what facet it is. I think uh, in, in CrossFit, uh, obviously if you're ego lifting, it, it'll mm. break you. 
down because with the amount of Olympic lifts that, that end things for time, I think that that's where most people get in trouble. Is like CrossFit, you have to check your ego at the door. Bodybuilding, you can do a little bit more ego lifting because you're not, like you see bad form in bodybuilding, it might not come back and hurt the person immediately. Whereas in CrossFit, because you're under distress and fatigue, that's when it like when people don't respect the workout or don't respect or, or just don't know exactly that they okay hey when you start breaking form down i understand you're worried about that clock but hey we, we you gotta you gotta take a step back so i think you're right i think the good crossfitters um that i've worked out with brookins you know we did a workout form yeah, is, cool. yeah form is just perfect on things like it's just pretty to watch a good crossfitter work out their mechanics it's just it's a pretty thing to see so um, I, I definitely agree. And speaking of pacing, okay, we got a hundred push-ups here. Yeah. Hundred push-ups. How do we want to pace it? How do you want to do it? We, just, we don't want to just burn out on that first set. We could we can yeah. go on you, um, and we can do it any way you want. Oh, nice. I like that. I like that. That felt good. I felt like just a nice little smart training. Doing push-ups a smart way. 20, you know, 2020, it is what it is. I don't want to harp on, you know, the negative things that have happened. Is there, what, what has been the best part? You know, it sounds like, you know, you like being able to train. You're a low key guy. You're not out partying, obviously. What has been your, you know, if there's a silver lining for you in 2020, something that's positive, what would that be? Um, honestly, I actually touched on this on my video I did 12 Days of Christmas. I don't know, you should you should do 12 Days of Christmas workout. Um, and it was honestly, my content this year was so different to what I'm normally used to. It forced me to, like I mentioned, it forced me to go outside, try the rugby training. I did the gymnastics with Niles, which was so much fun. Did the bouldering. Again, it was a lot of fun. So, um, this year, ironically, I've enjoyed the whole YouTube creating content and meeting new people and just being more social because I'm naturally an introvert. I like to just do my own thing and come in here, film all the content, film the training, 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 training. And this year has just made me have to try new things. And, and I probably enjoyed creating content a lot more this year in terms of the different people I've met and the different things I've got to do. Yeah. So, uh, and that's all down to because we couldn't go to the gym. Another another round? We good? Another 20? Another I'll try to probably, yeah. Yeah, cool. 20? Yep, on you. You're, I like how you did that. You broke it up into two sets of ten. I do that all the time, and I don't know. Yeah. Why, I don't. I don't know why I do it. Sometimes, like I'll do thirty, and then I'll count twenty, or I'll do you know like whatever, whatever however let's say I'm doing fifty. I'll break it up any different number of ways, but I do that all the time. It just makes it seem like uh, you're, you're doing less for whatever reason when you start counting over at ten. It's like oh, I got ten left instead of doing twenty. I'm only doing ten. So. Yeah, plus it's just easier to count rather than going 11, 12. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 18. <laughs> All right, let's do another Number 20. Okay. Good. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. What, uh, what would be your favorite CrossFit workout? Uh... Oh, that's a good one. Do I have one? Yeah, if, if you're uh, gonna do a CrossFit workout, like maybe not even your favorite, if you're gonna do a CrossFit workout that you want to put up against, like you're 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 going against Matt Frazier tomorrow, and you have yeah. to be like, okay, I don't want to look silly. I'm going to pick this workout because I think I can hang with him. Which one are yeah. you? Doing? Oh, that's tricky. Anything that doesn't involve audio machine. Actually, anything that involves dumbbells and the ski. Okay. They're the two things I'm very good. I can, even if I'm dying, hold on to a dumbbell. And usually I train with, a lot of the times I use the 30s. So 30 kilo dumbbells. And so if it's dumbbell and ski work, 
I'm usually, I can hang with a lot of, so my friends, some of my friends were really good. When it comes to dumbbells and ski, there's, a, there's um, I can't remember the name of the workout. It was dumbbells, ski and war balls. And I was able to hang on. I can't remember the name of the workout. I wish I could, I'll try and find that. Dumbbells, and, spirits and war ball. I like yeah, that. Yeah, because I can, I'm tall, I'm quite tall. So the war balls and, uh, gives me an advantage slightly, but the ski, I'm very good on the ski. I'm terrible on every other thing, <laughs> on the, every other machine. Um, and it, yeah, it really does involves dumb that ski because you got, you're, you're such a big guy that I feel like that yeah. lends itself. You just get your momentum with your body weight into that ski. Yeah. And it's crushed. It's a, it's a lot, the ski is a lot of power. Yeah. If you get the technique right, you can put, get a lot of, uh, clock a lot of uh, calories on the ski. Dumbbell snatches, I do a lot of dumbbell cycling. So just because I, I love dumbbell movements. So anything with dumbbell snatches, dumbbell clean and press, I I can literally hung, hold on for dear life, even that. if I'm tired. So um, that's probably the only time I'll, you know, if anything else. <laughs> All right, Matt Frazier, you heard that. Obi's challenging, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, I mean, it, it's it, if it's if if hopefully fingers crossed I get to do more content with a lot of crossfitters. I just started up with the buttery bro, so um, it'll be good to like get to work out with you know the best. That's the whole point. Yeah. I'm never going to be as good, but it'd be nice to actually see what it feels what it feels like training. Like you train with Brooke, yeah. I would love to know what it feels like training because she's an absolute beast. Yeah, she is. She is. Um, and again, like you, uh, amazing physique but has the ability to do amazing things with that physique as well. So yeah. lo love training, love training that because that's my passion. You know, there's the physique side, but then there's also just as important or more, more important at different times in my life, the performance side. So yeah, All right. let's knock 20. out 40. Let's push it to 40. Well, that'll, that'll be a hundred. We'll be good to go. Right. We're at 60. Yeah. All right. We got 40. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Forty. Just round it out to an even hundred. Then. Ready? Yeah. Okay. On you. Let's go. Take care. Speak to you later. Okay, bye, Obi. Bye. Next up, we have Devin. Now, Devin is a beast. He is, he does a lot of cool different things, but what I like that he just recently did, he bear crawled. Yes, bear crawled a marathon. That is insane. To have that kind of mental toughness to bear crawl a full marathon. Okay. All right, guys. Next up, coming to us from South Carolina right now. The guy is always traveling, always on the go. One of the most high energy guys, yes. Mr. Bear Crawl, 26 miles himself. Devin is in the house. Let's go. What's <laughs> good? And bear Crawl for the intro. Dude, tell me, tell me about that Bear Crawl. Cause I watched that, that all go down. <laughs> it just looked like the miserable, most miserable shit. I just, I hate Bear Crawls. You're great at them, obviously. How did you get in a mindset that like, where where were you, where was your mindset that you're like, I'm gonna marathon, I'm gonna bear crawl a marathon? <laughs> Dude, you know, I, I I went into it with a non-negotiable mentality. I mean, I had a lot of intrinsic and ex extrinsic motivators. Ross Edgley is the one that really yeah. convinced me, our, our fellow Gymshark homie. Um, 
but I just wanted to do something for purpose in 2020 and like do something where I was like giving back and rather than just like doing all these crazy workouts online, like bring awareness to something that I believe in. And, you know, I started talking about uh, my father and like suicide and like his suicide um, a little bit. But once I started to express it more and more, it actually like it was like a like a big weight was off my chest. And so that was like my big like intrinsic motivator. And then the extrinsic one um, was raising money for this foundation where we take veterans, we put them through a three week training course and they come out personal trainers on the other side. And so it gives them purpose again. It costs about $3,000 a veteran to put them through the camp. And so we raised around half a million dollars with the help of John Cena and some really cool sponsors. Jim Shark was a big one. Um, but yeah, and so that was kind of my goal of 2020 to do that. And, you know, I went into it with a non-negotiable mentality where like, hey, I'm not gonna fucking stop until I finish. So I went in and, you know, it was, it was below freezing. Uh, you know, it, it took 20 hours, 48 minutes, but I had some really good support. And uh, yeah, we fucking, we got it done. That is, that is, <laughs> again, like when you say Ross Edgley, I'm just like, that sounds like some Ross Edgley shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> Running around the UK, like bear crawling a marathon, both things that I, I, I honestly didn't, didn't, those things never crossed my mind because they're just next level shit. So good for you, man. Yeah. So, Thanks, so man. cool to see somebody doing that. Did you have any, like, how, how was your body after that, you know, day after, a week after? Like, how long did it take you to recover? Yeah, honestly, like, it was probably like a month and a half. I'm just, I'm like pretty good now. My wrist is, I, I have to go get it checked out because it hasn't, the pain hasn't gone, gone away since then. But I mean, I was just throbbing. Honestly, it was like, I was throbbing for a solid month and a half. Like at night, my, my knees were just aching. I mean, it's, I don't recommend anyone to like bear call a marathon. I was obviously doing it for a charity, but, um, but yeah, man, it, it was, it was at a point like during the marathon mile 11 was the hardest i took my headphones i threw them i was like i'm this is bullshit. like it's so cold like my headphones just died like i just got out of the zone for like a quick minute yeah. and then i just like remembered like why i was doing it and and uh i got back into it um but yeah man my my body my quads my wrist were are definitely were the most sore my everyone says your back but really when you're bear crawling right yeah. it's it's all your quads that you're that you're pushing off of and then obviously all the pressure on your wrist so um i'm, I'm good now though man hey i'm i'm solid i'm healthy i feel good nice well honestly super inspirational so uh we'll go on you yeah we can do them anywhere yeah let's want. go yeah i'm gonna do them uh i'm gonna do 20 at a time and I like we're gonna do yoga push-ups and so yoga. how I like to do yeah yoga push-ups I'll show you why so I go here and your body kind of comes through you're a little bit more functional and then you go into a push-up oh, yeah, and like then that. here yeah and so we'll go let's go 20 at a time I'll count them out and then we'll rest and go again so here we go one down to the floor two Definitely, uh, those are more traffic than the regular push-up. I get a test of that, especially for me. I was like, I was feeling it a little bit in the hip flexors, but definitely felt it uh, getting get a good stretch in the lats as I go back. I like that. So, yeah, man. You do. I, I do those, like, definitely more than uh, regular push-ups. And then I also do the hand release push-ups, which we'll do next. Yeah. But my whole training is like, I just get really bored with like the basic stuff. Like I grew up in like my father and grandpa was both professional weightlifters. So I was doing like the basic movements when I was like a child. And so like, I don't know if I've grown out of it like, or whatever. I just like, like adding like different um, innovations to my workouts. So like, like the yoga pushup, right? It's not a regular pushup. You're having a little bit more fun with it. You know, um, I do a lot of like, you know, stuff where I'm on all fours at all times, not just bear crawl, but like, even like cross throughs, yeah. you know, stuff like that where like, I feel like a kid again, I'm moving around, gets the heart rate up. Uh, yeah. I just oh, want to be- Again, like, like you said, it, it seems like you generally have fun with your workouts. Like, it, it might yeah. be, you know, it might be something that, again, you're, you're moving, you're trying different things, but out of, out of everyone that I follow, it seems like, you know, your workouts, are always just fun. Like they're, they're you're like you leave a, watching a video. You're like, man, I want to try that. Like it's yeah. that's some gnarly shit. I want to try it. So um, I think that that's yeah, a, a cool thing that you, you that, 
spin about? Let's do hand release. So here, up, and then here. I like doing these, especially for beginners. We're at four, five, because you can't cheat it. Your chest is all the way to the floor, you know? I went to a military academy. That's nine, 10. And the biggest thing they would say is, chest to the floor, chest to the floor. And they just yell at you. And so I feel like ever since then, I've really tried to implement these. You know, 15, 16. What a military 18, 19, 20. Uh, Valley Forge Military Academy. Nice. It's like, it's like right outside Philadelphia. So after my dad passed, I kind of got sent there. So I was like 16, 17, 18. And then, but it was good because you learn like a ton of discipline. You, you, get, you, you get very cultured fast because all the kids that went to the school are from Russia, China, Europe. You meet everyone in the world there. So you understand different um, cultures and whatnot. And then from like a sports perspective, you just, you get noticed a lot more than like going to like a, a little high school in New Hampshire. You know? yeah, I've heard of, I've heard so, of Valley Forge. I, I, it's cool that uh, cool that it was that multicultural too, because I feel like that was one thing growing up for me in Idaho. Didn't get exposed to a lot of things and still, until I started traveling with Optimum Nutrition and Gymshark. And yeah. that's been a blessing. So to have that at such a young age, that's invaluable. I, cool. This push up, we're going to do a cross through push up. So we go cross through, push up, cross through, push up. So that's All two. Right. Cross okay. through, you ready? I'll go one. Woo! That really lit up my hip flexors. I know. <laughs> oh shit. We're gonna do burpee push-ups. Woo! With a little jump. A AJ Baker's gonna love this. You ready? <laughs> Let's get it. One. Headphones fell. Definitely got uh, the heart rate up there. How much do you love? Like, biggest thing I've noticed with Whoop, I don't recover. You know, I'm not recovering as well as I should. My sleep's just been shitty. So that's one thing that, like, going into 2021, I'm looking yeah. at big time. I, uh, my recovery, it was off because I was in Dubai, San Diego. Utah, I was like all over the place in the last month. And yeah. so sleep is all messed up. But now I'm back on track. I got like 85 the last three days in a row. So I'm chilling right now. Nice. Yeah, yeah my strength. I like my, my recovery if I'm over 60, I'm happy. For whatever yeah. reason. No, I, I'm, I'm the same way. Anything over 50 for me, I'm like, okay, dope. But yeah. the strain part, I mean, it's just interesting just to have those numbers, especially for competitive people like ourselves. Like, I wanna know what I'm at every day. I wanna know if right. I should be pushing my body, if I should be resting yeah. and like, and whoop, like the, the innovations they constantly are coming out with, even with the HRV and, and the um, connection with like COVID and whatnot. Right. It's just like, it's, they're constantly innovating, and that's constantly. When I had COVID, I was at a, it, it knew my body. My numbers were completely skewed. My respiratory rate, really? HRV. Um, so like my respiratory rate when I sleep is like a 14.4. Um, I got tested for COVID, didn't have the results, but that night, my, like my, uh, my respiratory rate was like in the 20s. I, I had a one, a one recovery score. So- Oh my God. I, it was, it was- I don't gnarly. think I've ever even, I don't think I've ever even heard of that. I know. <laughs> I looked at it the next morning. It literally was off my sleep. It just couldn't be comfortable, comfortable in my body. It gave me a one recovery. So I'm like, that's got to be a damn record. It's like, what? So that, and then, of course, got my COVID test the next day. It was positive. But it's cool to show that data. Like, okay, you're not just, it's not just mentally something in your head. You have that data. So you're like, okay, today I'm going to, you know, back off a little bit or I'm going to go all out. I want to peak. You know, I, want to, I love how they have you peak, perform, you need this much yeah. I love having that down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I look at it as like a battery pack, man. Like I wake up and if I'm at like, like we said, like with the recovery, I like, I, it's something psycho like psychologically that kicks in. Like, it's like, okay, dope. Like I'm, I'm at 85, I can perform today. But if you're, if you wake up and you're at 10, you're like, mentally, you're like, oh, I'm so drained today. My whoop said I'm yeah. out of 10. So you kind of like chill out, you know? True. It's so true. Or I've even like on those days, I've been like, okay, Instead of my, you know, going for a run today, I'm gonna go for a walk. And again, it's like, I think we're both the type of people that probably have to err more on the side of, okay, because uh, mentally, I'm sure you're, you're like me, and it's like, if I didn't have that, I, I just go balls to the wall until I get sick or until I always. I do, that's what I, we're gonna, we're gonna grab a chair if you can, because we're gonna do uh, incline push ups. But uh, I, I, I think they're, people need to understand that like there is a balance to life and it's not just go 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 because I used to be go 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 and I imagine you were as well and like there's a time and place for it but dude having that balance in and just like sitting back and like ah, taking a deep breath and like wow look at the fucking flowers blooming and wow the birds are chirping and like life is actually true. better than it looks in the news you know so, true. so you, all right, I'm, uh, yeah I'm going wall also now all right let's go 20. Ah! Oh, up on the wall is a little hard. What do you got? What do you have planned for 2020 or 2021? Yeah, 2021 for us, it's going to be, you know, we're launching, launching supplements. You don't know about Australia. I think the biggest thing you mentioned this earlier, having that, like, you know, if you have a a vacation, something to look forward to. Um, you kind of, yep. you you know that there's that mental release that's coming. Uh, that's big. And you know, we thought Morgan was gonna be able to get over to the states. I'm now trying right. to get to Australia. And I think, in, in you know, not to harp on 2020 too much. The biggest thing that's been tough for me is just uncertainty. Haven't been able to plan anything. And I travel, you know, typically in a normal year, I travel a lot, and that's obviously just been squashed this year so i'm looking forward to just traveling a lot more getting to australia it's such a vibe there you know like morgan right now she's in byron bay you know beach i love the lifestyle that the average australian has most of the country obviously it's about the size of the u.s 26 million people so less than california so you got a lot of coastline for everyone to hang out on and people are just yeah. happy. i love that so the last one because i know that we're, this is the last set right last 20. yep um you you played college ball Yep. All right, cool. We're going to do a little, little foot fire, drop, push up. We got 20 of them. You know what this is. I guess I'll call the drop. Let's hit 20. Keep the feet fast. Let's go. Stop. Oh. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? Uh oh. We might have lost our dude. The zoom cut off. So I got 18 more, 17. I don't know what happened to our dude. I think his phone might have cut out. Ooh, I can definitely say. Hardest. It thing. cut out. It cut out. Oh. So we got to do it again. Are you back? <laughs> no, yeah, cut out of the way. I appreciate you. Oh, man. Taking time. Oh, so it definitely was the hardest 100 push ups this far. So I appreciate you on that. Of course. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. Enjoy the rest of the week. Stay positive. Appreciate it. Have a blessed new year, man. All right, brother. You too. Peace. That was a spicy one. I liked the variation that we threw in. You know, again, first three guys. Such, such cool. Such each one inspirational in their own way. Um, three hundred and ten push-ups in. So, next up, our first female, Hannah. I'm gonna get a little BCA action here. Shameless plug, culture subs. You guys can actually uh, get these in about a week. So, you can get a shaker too. We can match, we can be shaker buddies. All right, whoa, 310 down. I have right around 700 to go, 690. We're gonna get people to match that on this side. And again, 
we're gonna be donating. I'm gonna be personally donating $2,021 to a charity and then also Gymshark who are donating. They've been so charitable throughout this pandemic, helping personal trainers, helping people that have been out of work. So we're doing our part here. Let's see uh, how Miss Hannah Oberg is doing in Sweden. How's your little fam? How's everyone? They're good. My little dude is walking. He's almost running. He's like, I want to go faster. He's so like, I don't, I don't know what happened because he was just like a, a little baby. Yes. And now he's walking around. I, so yeah. How, is, is he over a year? No, he's 10 months. I know, I was just thinking that. I'm like, that sounds so early to be walking. <laughs> it is. I walked when I was 10 months. So yeah, oh. you got it for me then. <laughs> oh, the genetics. Yeah, but he's good. He's doing so good and he's growing and he's like, he's becoming a little person with a personality, which is so cool to see how he's like, you can't touch that. I'm getting mad. And he shows so much like temper all the time. It's really? so cool to see. Yeah, it's so cool to see. It's been, it, so, yeah, it's been fun to watch your guys' lives. And I, and I gotta say, like, math props to you be, because you, you do a really good job of showing the motherhood side, the real, like, the real side of being a mom. But then also, like, you just straight up beast things. Like, like you bounce back. <laughs> like, I'm sure you've heard this so many times, but you, you bounce back super fast, like you were working out, like, I'm sure I mean, you've gotten all sorts of different comments on things, um, the wonderful world of social media, but like what you've been able to do post-pregnancy is nothing short of amazing. So hats off to you, Hannah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been working hard, but wow. I'm really happy and proud of my body and the bounce back and everything. But I think that as I think you and we talked about it in the Gymshark live, like months ago yep. uh, that I gave my body time to just recover and I've never done it as I've done it this time and now I'm actually training a lot less than I did before and I think that this balance has really been good on me um, nice. to chill a little bit more and to not have to be active all the time. I, so, yeah. I think that's something <laughs> that I've talked with everyone about like Every, every one of the Gymshark athletes, I, I think you don't get to a place in this day and age of social media and fitness, like the people that kind of rise to the top, sometimes they're almost OCD about things and about getting in meals and, and you know, training constantly. But at some point, uh, what has helped you in the past can end up burning you out or end up making it not fun anymore. And I talked to yeah. Obi was on, Matt Does Fitness is on, Devin's been on. All of these guys, uh, I think, have a good way of, of changing up the training, uh, you know, making it fun. And another way of doing it, I think, at different times in our lives, there's a different balance. Like, there's a time yeah. in your life where you went through competing, you went through just going all out, that you learned so much that now, because you had that knowledge, because you went through that time, you don't have to live like that anymore because you know how to get the maximum results and yeah. the difference between overtraining and overdoing it and then yeah. and now being able to be like, okay, I know that I can maintain or even make small improvements working like this. And I think as a mom, that's something you have to find the balance with. Like it's such an important yeah. thing because you have so many duties now. Yeah, you definitely need to prioritize. Uh, and that's also why I'm really happy about the gym because I can just go downstairs when he's up sleeping. So yeah, you, you definitely need to have like a schedule and a plan of what you're gonna do. Uh, but yeah, my, my schedules and like how I'm planning, that's more for myself so I can, because it's not easy being a mom and being a full-time like working mom as well because I don't have a maternity leave that everybody else has. So yeah, it's definitely hard making it to work but I'm trying my best and I'm trying to not put so much pressure on myself yeah. um, sometimes I just like I want to do everything in one day but like I have to just take a step back and just you know what is important today what do I need to do today and then I can take the rest later and that is I can honestly say it's a struggle it's definitely a struggle because I've always been that kind of girl who wants to like if I have a goal that's the only 
thing I have in my mind and I'm going to get it done. It, it, that, it doesn't matter how, um, how I'm going to feel when I'm doing it, I'm just going to do it. Do and it. that's not the lifestyle that I can live today. So yeah, it is, it is a struggle, but yeah. I am so happy and grateful that me and Robin can work together as well to help me. Yes, that is and, yeah. and definitely a blessing. The pros and cons of obviously, you don't have that maternity leave, but you also can work from home. Like you've done a great job of creating a life for yourself that you can be mom and you know, Hannah Oberg on social media. And I think mm. that anyone watching this video here, you're, they're probably seeing a common theme with a lot of the, the Gymshark athletes. And that's people that at the end of the day, it's almost like they need to learn how to back off at times because they're mm. used to gas on the pedal 100%. And I think that that's what, you know, creates so much success. But also, like I said, at the same time, it's something that to the world looks awesome because you're always going, going, going. But for your own mental health and your own well-being, there's going to be a time that we all need to take a step back and recharge that battery yeah. and, and be that person that, you know, the rest of the world doesn't see. So I commend you. You're doing, exactly. a, I mean, you're doing a great job. And uh, yeah, thank and, and thank you for being on. We got, we got some push-ups. I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, Booty up. One, up. two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, 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 nine, nine, ten. Oh, Miss Hannah, your your push-up form is impressive. I oh, feel thank like you. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like you you have like what your what is your goal right now in terms of your training? Like, are you a, in a strength phase? Or are you uh, you know, cutting. What, what is what is your goal right now? Uh, right now, I'm planning on next year to uh, um, just work on my strengths nice. and uh, push myself. Uh, like, yeah, try to just reach new goals for myself. Like more, I, I always do chin ups and pull ups. I don't know if I if you saw in my stories that I have been posting that I have been doing yes. that. And my goal, my goal now is to do twenty. Uh, of each, and I, yeah. Whoa, so that, a, that's, a, a that's, a, that's, an, that's an intense one. Yeah, I done sixteen, so that's impressive. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do twenty, like small goals, goals like that. But then I also have a challenge coming up uh, at my in my fitness fitness app in Onu, yep. and we're gonna do a six days challenge nice. um, in the app as well to yeah to make all of the the girls in the app like. Um, yeah, in the same challenge and do it together. And what, what's your app called for my channel? So people can, you know, girls out there, guys, if your girlfriend's looking for an app, yeah. and they can check your app out at? My app name is called Own You. Nice. Yes. And I'm really, really, really proud of that app. I'm so, I uh, like, the fact that we actually launched, like that I, reach because that is also a goal that I have because I, when I started this Instagram like when I started everything I was like I want to be able to help as many as possible and now when I have an app it made me it makes me all like you know <laughs> you're so true I love that I, I, I will say <laughs> Hannah from the minute I, I met Hannah at the first Gymshark event definitely has that you know that it factor where you make people feel very comfortable immediately as soon as they meet you so i, I think that, don't that make me cry up. okay i'm already <laughs> emotional <laughs> well you're, you're definitely you're, you're definitely as advertised like people love you on instagram and you know i love that in person you are you are that exact same person so thank you do you All remember right. when we told right. you do you do you remember when we told you about colin that we were pregnant yes. <laughs> i do I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that, and I just, like, it's crazy how long now that we've known each other. Like, I feel like time just flies oh, by. So, I I know. Feel like I'm coming over to Sweden to meet Colin, too. You have to. I'm counting on it. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Speaking of counting on it, let's count push ups. Here we go. 10, 1, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. All right, let's do eleven. Let's do, okay. let's do fifteen. Twelve. Are you 13, done? Fourteen, fifteen. Hannah, I, I feel like I feel like you are. You're kind of you're kind of low key. Like I thought, okay, ten push-ups, but I, I feel like.
how many push-ups are you up to on your, like, are you keeping track of that along with your pull-ups? I've been, I've done a 35 at most. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> great. Yeah. But, but yeah. So maybe but, have that as a goal as well, like keep 40. That is really, so but yeah. where are we at right now? We did 10, we're at 25 right now. This, this last one, we'll do 25. Okay. Like, you're not even scared. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, a, what is the biggest thing you're looking forward to in 2021? Oh my God. To be able yeah, yeah. to like travel and meet up with friends. And yeah, travel. I think travel the most. Travel. Like 2020 has been a crappy year, but still 2020 is my best year in my life because I got Colin. So yes. I can't, I can't say that this year has been the worst because he's the best thing that ever happened to us so yeah but overall 2020 has been yeah not so good so, yeah and, and and i think that that's a good thing like for people to realize out there is like i mean 2020 is really you know we've, we've talked about how bad it is but for you like there's been you're still making huge personal strides obviously colin just trumps any other year because that isn't a love mm -hmm for a child, like that's a monumental life thing. Um, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's been really cool to see, um, you know, the growth in your life the last year. And it's something that I think, you know, especially, you know, Morgan and I, when we, when we talk about people that are, you know, little families that are like, eventually we want a family. And I know that that's something that, you know, when we look at your stuff, we just absolutely love it. So I think it's, it's you're, you're inspiring people also besides fitness, um, you know, and like family and lifestyle goals too. So I think it's mm. something that is. What's the hardest part about being a mom? Um, I think for myself is that he's growing so fast and sometimes I can, I don't know how to explain it, but like I can feel bad about like, I can, I can ask myself, have I really been there? every single day and every step of his development and have I really seen it all because it is really hard when trying to um, like build and uh, work with social media when you should have your phone so much sometimes I just want to take my phone and like throw it out the window yeah. because it takes too much of my attention from time to time and I can feel like the only thing that matters is him yeah. um, so that's something that I um, like struggling with because I'm trying to have my phone like when he's asleep I'm like Ooh, work 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 and when he's awake I'm trying to just like put it on the side and don't have my phone because he's still the most important thing ever uh, so it, it is really hard to find a balance between um, yeah being a mom and doing what I do that's just how I personally feel yeah. Um, so, yeah. I can imagine, I can imagine that. I'm sure you're harder on yourself than you need to be. I mean, it sounds like yeah. you, you like being the best mom. You like best being the best, you know, trainer. You like being you like being the best because it's the person that you are. So I'm sure you're doing a phenomenal job. I know how it feels though. Like, Hobbs, come here, come here. Yay! Even oh. Uh, even oh, you're getting a stretch. Come here. Come say hi to Hannah. Even even oh, with him, if I'm on my phone my with him, baby boy. and I haven't given him love, and of course you're not really a human, but sometimes I think you are. So I can imagine, I can imagine how hard it would be with your actual own blood, your own baby. So uh, yeah, you're doing great. but like I know Ori is like Ori is still our first baby boy, and yes. he's also that's also kind of hard because we have been giving Ori 200% of our attention, yes. and when Colin came into the picture, Ori was like. Yeah, he's cute, but what is happening? <laughs> you know, but he's still, when Colin is asleep during the nights and during the evenings, uh, Robin and I, we always have like Ori cuddle time. So yes. Ori gets to be with us in the sofa. It, it is really hard to make him feel as loved as before because Colin gets so much attention all the time. Right. But we're really trying every day to make him feel um, as involved as possible with everything that we're doing we're always uh, taking a family walk stuff like that so I, I uh, totally understand what you mean with the dog it's like your baby yeah and yeah. I, I can imagine I knew 
Like obviously you and Robin, great dog parents. So of course you guys are, would be great human parents as well. So I can imagine it's tough. My brother kind of went through the same thing. Like you love your dog so much. And then it's like your baby comes and that love just expands a million fold because it's yeah. your, your baby. And then the dog's kind of like, okay, well, what about me? But it sounds like Ari's getting, Ari's such a cute dog. It sounds like he's still getting some love. He's the best baby, baby brother, but older brother to Colin. Oh, and yes. now when Colin is a little bit bigger and they can play. Yes. You know, before Ari was like, he's too small. I don't know how to handle him. So he walked away, but now he's like, being on the on the carpet when Colin is uh, playing and it's all over Colin as well. So it's really cute to see how they, I think they will be best friends in just a couple of months. Oh, I love that. I so, love yeah. that. Well, I can't yeah. wait for more Ari and Colin content too, so. Yeah. All right. Okay. Our push -ups. Are we ready? Yes, ready. Okay. You, you count them out. I'll go on you. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Are you with me? Yeah. Twenty. Let's go. I like it. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Woo! Are we gonna? Are we gonna? Are we doing more? I, I was that was 50. You killed that. Hey, I, I gotta tell you, I'm so I'm so impressed with how strong you are. Like that is that is uh that's some Viking power right there for sure. But, thank, hey, thank you so much for joining us. Tell tell Robin and Colin thank you for letting us steal you away for a little bit of time. And, I will, uh, I had such a blast and I missed you so much. I know so that. happy to I'm so glad to see you. Like, even though we're hot hugs, I'm yes. still so happy to see you. I, I really hope that we get to see each other sometime next year. I know uh, yeah. we, we love you. We love watching your little family growing and, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we get to see you guys this next year, so. Love you too. Thank you so much and really nice video. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, enjoy your, enjoy you. your new year and go give that family some love for me. I will, you too. Say hi to Morgan. Will do. Bye, and Anna. kiss hub. Bye.